Hey, what's up guys? Sadness here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're hopping into a game I seen on Steam called Beneath Orasa. Now, here's the thing. I know nothing about this game other than the fact that I seen the clips and the gameplay. So I, I know it's a little bit of a deck builder. I'm going to read the store page here. It says... Beneath Oressa, a fighting roguelike deck builder, takes you deep within the city to confront your foes. As a strategist, choose your cards, upgrades, and artifacts wisely, but as a fighter, turn their positioning to your advantage. I'm just going to hop in, because I'm, when I tell you guys this game looks sick, you're not going to realize till we get in. Art style, beautiful, straight up. Which I think we realize at this point, I love every art style of every game, pretty much, I guess. I'm, but... The Agora. Choose a request. Since the gods abandoned Oressa, all types of people have begun to gather in the Agora. Mercenaries, cultists, knights, ambassadors, people come here to seek or to ask for help. Submit contracts and offer their services. Now, I've never played this. I haven't even tried it out. But it looks like we have House Ag Agisa Dif... I don't know how to say that, guys. Uh, Deferde? Dif... Dif Deferity? That's probably not how you say it, but anyways, we also have Tainted Ones and Guild of the Rune Fairs, but they're not available in Early Access. I should also mention, hey, this is Early Access, <laughs> but I'm not necessarily sure who we should start with here. Maybe they all have, like, I don't know if there's a recommended one, but this Sora looks cool. Cobalt, maybe, you know what, let's just start with the very first character, Hectos. Counterattack, build up charges to trigger powerful counterattacks. Blind Herald of the Earth, the first attack against each foe in each round grants one. I'm assuming that's uh, uh, charges, uh, considering that this says charge, but I haven't even played a tutorial or anything. I don't know what's happening, guys. We're just going to hop in. Sure, that guy. Wait, I get to choose a companion? Um... Guys, I do not even know what's happening right now. Each combat heal five. Let's just take that. Plus, she looks awesome. And she has a giant crystal sword. Icy Eris. To survive, no matter the odds. You know what? We're doing it. I really don't know if there was a tutorial or not. But from what I've seen, I didn't see one. So we're just hopping in. New game. Choose a strategy. Charge in this combat you gain whatever this is or this combat gain one as that energy and card draw. That sounds good. Oh, here we go. How to play. So during your turn, spend resources to play cards. When done, hit and turn button. Foes will begin to play out their intents and a new round will then begin. That seems easy. How to target. Scroll wheel to choose the target. Okay, this is sick. Uh, foes, the action the foe will perform this round is the intent here. Any modifier or special ability possessed by the foe is in the second down here. Reduce them to zero hit points to destroy the foe and special rule applied on the foe this turn. All right, heroes. The currency you spend to play cards is here. Any modifiers or special ability you have is shown here. Hit points, obviously, and guard protects you, protects your hit points, but resets each round. So let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Fury, attack damage, increase attack damage by this value. And it looks like they're going to buff. This one's going to attack, move into your zone, moves into your zone before attacking and debuff me, and then stays in a ranged attack, so stays in their zone when attacking. It's kind of a lot to take in right off the bat, right? Especially since there's not really a tutorial. But it looks sick, so we're going to get ready. The target is still alive on their turn, gain one smite. And it's a six. It's a six damage attack. This person has 40 HP, though, so we should definitely take out the lower health enemy. We're going to smite. That's going to give us uh, smite, which is not quite sure what that means. I'm sure it shows somewhere. Gain three retribution. Maybe that's what it was. A, ch uh, a charge. Uh, we also get a parry. We're going to be taking how much? Four damage? And so 10 damage overall. We have, 
we actually have four energy still so let's block all the damage we're gonna get and then the first attack against each foe this round grants five um i want to kill this guy so I oh shoot i accidentally you know what screw it i accidentally did the wrong thing um my bad but guys can you see how sick this is once i learn how to play better look at this it literally f plays out the battle oh gosh it's sick all right uh all right let's look smite yeah look you gain four of your zeal so i just didn't read it the best return a an attack from discard pile if it costs zero gain one smite smite is this card okay so i'm going to kill this one with a smite okay we're going to on draw draw one card if this card is discarded at the end of the turn take four non-lethal damage all right we're gonna try and get an attack card back we're gonna get oath if the target's still alive on the turn gain smite which means we're gonna hit this guy and gain another smite and they're just buffing themselves so we can just go for the straight up damage this is sick I have never seen a game have this style of fighting, but I am not mad about it. This is awesome. You get like whole cinematic fights while you're doing the fight. All right, four damage left. We're going to return an attack card. It doesn't really matter which one it is because you're dead. Awesome. Learn new techniques. I can gain, oh my gosh, 20 damage. And I gain armor? That sounds great. 14 damage and another foe takes 2 weakness. Hmm. 14 damage for 1 seems really good, especially with weakening. But I think Shield of Authority is probably great. This is awesome. I am assuming I'm going to be playing this game on stream, so if this is something you guys want to see more of, let me know down in the comments and also maybe check me out on Twitch. Maybe hit a follow so that way you can see if I do go live with this game. Let's see. I can choose a path here. We can scavenge, heal 20, and gain an anti-quorum. Not quite sure what that does. Or gain 10 max HP, which I'll do because we're at full. Alright, an anti-quorum is Bane of the Cults. The first time a curse is added to the deck each round, gain 8 guard. Sure, sure. I love this too. It's almost like a loading screen, but it's also like, I think they're trying to make this game like super cinematic, which I'm not mad about. It's awesome. Fight strategy, draw one extra card on the first round and or heal five HP. I'm full health, so we're fine there. All right. So we're only going to take three damage. Yes. So we're going to parry here. We're going to... Hiya, hiya. I want to try to play this like super... Wait, what? Why is my health like that? I want to try to play this like kind of quick because it looks cooler that way. Uh, but at the same time... I should have taken the oath there. But it's okay. You got a smite. It says a new foe joins a combat when one is destroyed. Perfect. Well, we'll kill you. And you are going to debuff me and give me a little bit of damage here. So I will do this, do this, do this, and skip. And then you get the cinematic for them running in. Awesome. Oath. This, this, this. You guys can't tell me this isn't sick. And we get a counter attack that does 40 damage once we get all our charges up. That dude insta died. Awesome. Sick. Learn new techniques. Consumable. Blossoming faith. Uh, this card is permanently removed when played. I'm not quite sure what blossoming faith does. Push alt to see upgrades. 
Discard one card if able, gain an energy. Uh, let's see. Target takes three weakness on draw, a random foe takes two weakness. Or gain 10 energy and choose one attack in hand, shuffle it into the draw pile. It deals 15 extra damage till played, heck yeah. Do, 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 do. Scavenge, upgrade one of six cards, lose 15 HP and upgrade two of six cards or gain 15 max HP and decrease companionship. How about we lose HP and upgrade two cards? That sounds better for me. So, oh my gosh, they have multiple upgrades too. Um, What do we want to go for here? Art of the family, I can gain knockback so that attack... Uh, moves its target to the other zone, which means they probably have to move forward to attack me. Um, let's see. Gain a charge to fill your counterattack meter and gain retribution. Oh, so the retribution affects how much damage my counterattack does. But I can also make it gain a charge. Let's see. Choose one card in the discard pile, shuffle it. Okay, or I can choose shuffle it, it deals 25 damage extra damage this round and i draw two cards uh that sounds really good so let's do that one and hmm, what's the other one i want to choose probably just gain extra retribution for this or 12 block yeah we'll do that one man this game i <laughs> like i'm still like shocked at how cool the art style and everything is. How have I not seen this game before, by the way? I don't know if this game just came out or if it's been in the store for a while, but I do not know how I have not seen this before. On the first round, equal chance to either draw two cards or take five lethal damage. Sure, I'm not scared. Did I draw two? Oh, yes. Awesome. All right, so let's make sure we do this. Uh, so we have some ranged enemies here, 45 damage. We're going to try and take out one of these, um, because obviously they're a little weaker. And we're going to be taking 21 damage this round, so I'm going to do this. We're going to draw Art of the Family. And 21 damage. So I will do the Biting Parry, and... I have 30 block here, so yeah, screw it. They even have block animations and everything. I love it. On on draw, each time you change zones this round, lose two armor. Okay. Let's see. Return an attack from the discard. Gain a smite if it's free. All right, gain a smite if it's free, yeah. All right, um, I'm gonna lose some stuff here, but that's fine. I have two left, so I'm gonna parry. And then 16 damage. I'm gonna take one damage here, but that's fine. Could be worse, if we're being honest. Oh my gosh, 29 damage. But here's the thing, I didn't know that the price was gonna go up. And I don't want to take all this damage. So we're going to go with... We're going to parry here. On draw. One attack in your hand has this... Oh, never mind. It doesn't. It just... Uh, it just got this curse on me or whatever it is. Now, I would like to kill this guy, but I don't think I can. Very unfortunate. And I should have done that first. I got it, guys. I misplayed. I'm still learning this game. Obviously, this is my first time ever playing this. I'm going to kill this guy, and then I should just be able to block the rest. The, like, the enemies, the hero design, everything is just awesome. Sick. You can't tell me that wasn't a sick combo. Uh, what do I want to take? Gain three smite, which is increased damage. Tempor we also get temporary fury. Oh, a foe gains temporary fury. Uh, when a foe is destroyed, gain eight. Is this a 
power or just this turn? Let's see. Prevent uh, when a foe is destroyed, gain armor and retribution. That's probably good. I still obviously have to learn about how a few things work, but it's all right. I'm sure the people that know this game will probably let me know in the comments if I'm doing anything wrong. So what do companion abilities? I guess I'll um, increase companionship and then I get the wolf within. So gain temper, unleash or feed the wolf. I mean, if I do it again, it looks like I'll actually get the heal five after each combat, which is super good, by the way. Heal 10, upgrade a card and remove a card, or gain an antiquorum. Probably this one. Because upgrading cards seems very good. Let's see, 30 damage, gain 10. If your retribution is 20 or more, gain 20 instead. Or, cost reduced by 1 the first time you counterattack. Uh, I think I'll go with the 30 damage one. And then we can remove a card that we don't really want. I'm going to remove the Patriarch's Duty one because I always forget to use it. <laughs> so that seems like the best thing for me. Better reward the com this combat. A foe gains 25 max HP. We take the better reward all day. All right, so 14 damage this turn. We're just going to full block that. We should be all right here. I believe we full blocked. Yeah, we did. All right, cool. Uh, I accidentally went for the strongest guy, which I shouldn't have done. We're going to Oath here. We're going to... How much damage are we taking? 14 again. And I'm going to grab Oath. We're going to do this. And then... I keep accidentally switching targets, but that's just something I'm going to have to get used to. We full blocked anyways. I'm not that worried about it. It might come back to bite me later, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to go here for the 30 damage, and we're just going to take out... I can't take out you, so I'm going to take you out. And then we gain, We have 36, so there's no way they're hitting us this turn. I'm going to smite, and then I'm going to see what the Wolf Within does. Take five non-lethal damage, draw four cards. Gain two smite, or each round gain one smite. Probably that one. Oh, wait, it's fleeting, so I can't use it. Well, oh well. I'm not quite sure what smite is, though. Maybe it's just extra damage or something. I'm not quite sure. That is something I'm missing on, but it's fine. We're going to try and kill this guy because that'll make us only to... Well, actually, we can't. Never mind, we can. I lied. You're dead. And now we parry. And if we gain two more charges, it's going to instantly die. Let's do this. Grab Oath. Get rid of that. Yeah, these guys aren't ramping up very f fast, but maybe later on they'll get harder. And you're done. The animations are so good. I know I always say I love the art style, but I really love the art style. This one at the end of the round heals this amount of HP and reduces reconstitution by one. Recon or, or reconstruction by one. Not quite sure what that means. If the target's HP is less than yours, or less than your retribution after the attack, gain an energy. Next round, gain two energy and two cards. Gains fading. That's an amazing card. Um, and I'm getting better rewards here. Or I should. Oh, wait. No, I already did get the better reward. Um, I'm going to go for, it looks like there's an, a, ch a champion there or something. So we're going to go that way. Oh my gosh. 20 damage on you. Hail flees far before attacking hits you and their allies near you. Each of their allies near you take five, da uh, five damage intended for you. Uh, that's 20 damage. What's happening here? Why does this look like this? Delayed sentence. I'm obviously going to block here. Oh, I can't use it because I don't have a card in my discard or something. This is bad. We're actually going to take a lot of damage here. <laughs> I 
I love it. Okay, we took a little damage there, but you know what? It's fine. If your retribution is 20 or more, gain 20 instead. Uh, do I have to have 20? Oh, no, they're too far away for me to be able to use that. Gotcha. All right, so who do I want to take out first? I really wanted to take out that guy. I might still be able to. I did indeed, and we're still going to take a lot of damage. Eh, maybe not a lot. I took two damage. Never mind, we're good. I didn't realize I had block, but I, then I remembered. All right, we're obviously going to use that. I'm going to check here. Gain two smite, because I want to see what smite does. Oh my gosh, why why do I keep forgetting it's literally my cards? I should, I should be better. And I apologize. You're dead. Goodbye. I just had to say something about them not being hard, but I did choose a harder fight, so... Really, I shouldn't be surprised. Alright, uh... You're only doing 5 damage, so I need to take this guy out. Oath, we're gonna do this. We're gonna grab this. Now here's a problem, right? If I don't block... I can kill you with this, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm only gonna be taking... 12 damage. Uh, so we're gonna go for this. For this. And we're gonna try to take you out, I guess. 12 damage. I have a crap ton of blocks, so we're good there. Man, I'm good. Alright, 11 damage. Shouldn't be too hard to, to block. We're just gonna defend this turn and bide our time for this next round where we get a crap ton more. Oh, what did you do? Did you just counter me? Did the right call there, guys. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> 92 damage. Heck yeah. Alright, acquire a new Antiquorum. Let's see, each combat add three purification beads to the draw pile. When there are no purification beads in the deck, gain 10 charges and 50 retribution. When a combat begins, draw your next attack. It deals five extra damage until played. Each combat, the first time you attack a foe, gains two fury when this foe is destroyed. Oh, it gains gain two fury when this foe is destroyed. Uh, this one seems great. The purification bead one? Oh no, did it crash? Don't crash on me, game, please. You can do it. Oh, it crashed. Well, time to see if we can, uh... All right, guys, don't worry. It let me continue, so we're good here. I'm going to obviously go for increased companionship so I can get this each combat heal five. That should just be really good for us. And choose an antiquorum, decrease companionship. No. Choose one of two or gain one, increase companionship. Next, I get for the family, which is a zero cost, gain 10, draw a card. Uh, I'm going to go for that one. That sounds awesome. Each round, a foe takes eight non-lethal damage. I'm not quite sure what the non-lethal damage means. They just can't die from it, probably, right? So if they have eight health left and they take the eight non-lethal, they'll probably stay up. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Uh, this combat gained two temporary damage. Uh, and this combat, you have a 25% chance of gaining weakness. Uh, I think we choose none. All right, who do we go for first? What are you doing? When this foe is destroyed, all other foes take 55 damage. And at the end of, the, of each round, heals this target. Okay, I think we need to go for that one. We're obviously going to block here, and I'm going to try to go in. This isn't going to do anything for me here, but... So I'm just going to try to block these other guys and, and murder this dude. Because the Psy Preacher right here will 
will kill everyone else once we get it, so. Um, gain two smites, because that's... Wait, what? Oh, I'm tripping. Gonna do this, we're gonna gain this. Oh no, I discarded one. That's fine. Uh, seven... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of... That's a lot of damage! Maybe I shouldn't have focused on this one. That's a lot of damage coming in. Take 10 non-lethal damage if this card is discarded at the end of the turn. The cost of a random card in the draw pile increases by one. I'd rather just take the 10 non-lethal, I think. So that's, oh my gosh, 25, 32 damage. Purification bead. And we're going to go for a parry here. I'm a little worried here. Please don't kill me. I was doing so good. For the family! Alright. Come on, hit me. Can I not do a counterattack unless it's a melee? Oh, it is a melee. That's not good. No, guys. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> don't kill me, please. I'm so low on health now. 10 non lethal. Turn a card. We're going to grab Oath here. Come on, I need to just kill them all. If I don't kill him this turn, we die, I think. Shoot. Pretty sure I'm dead, guys. 14 de I'm not dead! Oh my gosh, luckily they were powering up. I still have one more chance. I'm dead now. Goodbye, everyone. Gosh darn it. The game crash threw me off. That's what I'm going to blame it on. <laughs> but this game was awesome. You guys let me know if you want to see more of this. Like I said, it's amazing. I'm probably just going to end this episode and go stream it. If I'm being honest, because, oh my gosh, this was fun. If you guys want to see more, let me know. I'm going to go practice on stream. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day, guys.